what the hell have I just watched? <clears throat> it's, it's, listen, comedy is a very, very, very specific thing. Um, not all comedy resonates with all people, and some people find different things funny. Water is wet, I'm stating the obvious here. But if you are cut from a cloth that likes deadpan comedy, that likes things like Ricky Gervais's British Office, that likes irreverent British toneless humour, man, you're going to like this film! <laughs> I came out of this thinking... I, I I don't know where to begin. I, I think this is one of those things that is going to be discussed ad nauseum over the years. Like, what is the greater meaning behind Sweet Caroline? Um, I, let, let me let me start off by by summing up this movie because th this movie is think of it like the anti David Lynch in Blue Velvet, the same way that David Lynch was obsessed with just what goes on behind the white picket fence, perfect, uh, perfect American suburbia, there's a dark underbelly. And it's very, very, very similar with this movie, but with a British comedic twist, because instead of it being Dennis Hopper and his inhaling gas machine and doing all sorts of crazy perverse things... <laughs> we're in British gardens and we're in this weird little community which is obsessed with essentially growing out um, giant vegetables. Now, I didn't know that this was a thing, but apparently a lot of this is actually rooted in reality. There is a whole community of people who are doing competitions of who can grow the largest vegetable. Um I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. Now, what they've done so well in Sweet Caroline is that it's j just like all of the great mockumentaries. They've really captured the mockumentary style from the, the way the actors deliver their lines to the really grandiose and radical scenarios manifesting themselves in very small everyday people who aren't properly equipped on how to cope with these great things <laughs> to, to, to even the way the camera works you know be, being shaky and not being in focus every single thing in this movie is purposefully planned out it's purposefully on the nose it's purposefully weird and sweet caroline to that end it's just a remarkable success you, you have the wants to see this type of film. Now, if mockumentaries are not your thing, Sweet Caroline is not going to make you all of a sudden fall in love with mockumentaries or that kind of fly-on-the-wall mockumentary style that's become so synonymous, again, with things like The Office. But if you want a... This sounds like a reach. If you really do want a, re, a weird reimagining set in Britannica almost like of a David Lynch, then this movie is for you, man. It's 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 really, really quite bizarre. And I love movies that kind of push the envelope in a... Not obtrusive, but push push the envelope in a way that's, that's not patronising, that's not preachy, that's not condescending. That's just very there. It's very irreverent. The movie is very self-aware... The cast are on just fine, fine form. The only real negative I have to associate with this movie is that it's not going to be for everyone. In fact, there's an argument to be made that it's for an incredibly narrow audience. But within that audience, man, that audience is going to have a great time. One or two negatives, because obviously no film is perfect. There are one or two negatives with this movie. That being that, the transitioning between the second and third act, the pacing does fall off a little bit. You know, I did kind of get an impression of, okay, come on, yella, get to the point now, let's go. Um, but the, at so many times throughout this narrative, I'm wondering, like, not only what's the purpose of it, but like, where are we going with this? And the movie kept me thinking the whole time, where are we going with this? Jesus, I've been rambling. I haven't even told you about the damn story. Caroline is a typical 
little Britain type woman who is growing giant vegetables in her back garden with the help of her very simple friend Willie, who's clearly kind of got the hots for her. Caroline, Caroline's back garden is broken into and the whole story is about who stole Caroline's vegetables, why, and it leads into weird things like former Secret Service members, swinging, um, a murder plot, political intrigue, political corruption, and you're kind of there wondering, like, how have you managed to fit so many grandiose ideas into something as simple as growing vegetables? And yet somehow... They've only gone and bloody done it. It's so on the nose and so silly, but so self-aware about what it's doing. It's just a, like I've I've never seen anything like Sweet Caroline, which is why I'm so so confused by it. All. <laughs> but in the best possible way. Do you know what? Ah, oh, damn! I didn't get a graphic ready, so forgive me. This is going to be all of a verbose one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give Sweet Caroline an eight point five out of ten. I think this movie really, if you you fall into that narrow target audience, because I think look, if you're going here expecting the big bombastic set pieces, if you're going here expecting your atypical Americana comedy. You're not going to get along with this film. But if you like British deadpan, if you like mockumentary fly on the ball, if you like grandiose stories manifesting in small characters who are ill-equipped to cope with these stories, oh, you're going to have a good time with this film, man. You're going to have such a good time with this film. And for that specific target audience that I'm identifying, that target audience to you, I say this movie is a solid 8.5 out of 10. It is quite brilliant. And I, I'll go on the limits to say it's the best comedy this year that you've probably not heard of. And now you know. And you should go and see it. And when you have seen it, I want to know, what did you think of Sweet Caroline? Um, there's actually going to be another video I'm going to link here, which is an interview between myself and the two directors. Um, so please do go and check that out. There's a subscribe button down here for you to check out. But yeah, do check out the interview because it was fascinating to see how this movie was made. And we'll see you right back here on the Silver Screen Dudes YouTube channel very soon for another review. Bye for now.